driverless here. And uh, this is an answer to, I get a lot of questions about this at the range. Um, uh, what, 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 what type of lube? This is like a couple weeks ago. I was at the range and somebody asked me what type of lube I use on my firearms. And I was like, at first I was kind of like, what? What do you mean what type of lube? Did your mom ever tell you to go in dry? No, I'm playing. No. Uh, well, but the lube question was real. So I use grease. Use light lube on my firearms. You know that you know the gun oil? I don't use that crap. Um and, and this one simple reason why I don't use it never lasts. You know what I mean? It, I swear to God, that shit is just made to evaporate. You ever uh, go down the range, you know, you're using that light gun oil. And you go down the range, and then next thing you know, you throw a magazine through your uh, 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 th through your gun. And then next thing you know, you realize you have no lube anymore. It just, like, burns off in, the, in oblivion. And especially, like, these old, these older... Weapons platforms. You know what I mean? You start, like, especially my 03 here. You know what I mean? You start using, you know, that light lube and just, it burns right through it. It's done. When I use grease, it just lasts a hell of a lot longer. You know what I mean? And it's thicker, it's better, especially in the wintertime here in Vermont. It's so much better. Um, so I really like use grease. I, I don't cake it on there, but. The grease just lasts, you know what I mean? And, and the good thing about grease is that, yeah, it gets, it protects it better, you know what I mean? Uh, if you're walking through foul weather um, and light oil, the rain will just wash it all away. It's goodbye, you know what I mean? Especially when you're using these older ones, you know what I mean? Where your, your actions are exposed more. Um, and I use, you know, I use grease and foul weather hits or even, you know, nasty weather, and my grease is still there. My grease is literally protecting my parts, and th and that's probably the main reason why I like using just regular, general purpose grease um, in all my weapons platform. And also the good thing about grease is that, let's say if you need to grease up an area, I'm pretty sure you can find a reservoir where your grease has accumulated <laughs> in your in your weapons platform, and you could quite literally take that access grease and repurpose it inside your gun, you know. And it, that's that's just amazing. That it's great. It's it's really good. Um, and you don't have to worry about buying gun oil. Uh, gun oil. It just gun oil is just too light. Way too light. Um, it just evaporates. It's like rubbing alcohol to me. You know what I mean? It's great. You know. And when you first apply it, but give it three days, then you're reapplying it. You know, you keep, you keep reapplying, reapplying, reapplying. It's, and the next thing you know, you're off and you're buying more, you know, more old gun oil that's costing you, you know, ten dollars, you know, twenty dollars a whack. When you can pay seven bucks, and you can get three tubes of this grease, <coughs> or better yet, uh, five bucks, and you can get a big ass tube of grease. You know what I mean? Um, and then there you go. You're good to go. You know what I mean? And I get the high temperature grease. Uh, I got I got machinist grease. High temperature grease. And that shit just, pff, just lasts and lasts and lasts and lasts and lasts. You know what I mean? It's just it's great. I just put a Q-tip full and pff, put it on and there we go. I'm good to go. Um, so yeah. So that's my reason why I use grease. Not gone oil. It's, uh, you know, it's just, it, it's, it's really up to you. You know what I mean? Uh, some people don't like grease because they don't like the mess. Um, I, I can show you right now that I use grease and there's no mess. I mean, look at this. There's zero mess. You know what I mean? It's just, you just put it in all the parts that are moving. And it just lasts you a hell of a lot better. So, anyways, this is Vermont Survivalist. And it protects your parts. Did I mention that? This is Vermont Survivalist. Good to go.